Well, Stephanie, next week, Burlingtonians get to weigh in on town meeting day whether or not to ban single use plastics like those shopping bags you get at the grocery store, maybe at a takeout restaurant. And it turns out they're not alone on this issue. Some shoppers like Sally Smith use canvas shopping bags, not plastic ones. There's too much plastic in the world. More Montpelier residents like her may soon not be allowed to use single-use plastics like shopping bags. Montpelier voted 78% um, in favor of um, uh, and, uh, the ability for the city to make uh, an ordinance around uh, single-use plastics and particularly plastic bags. Bag bans are a popular topic across Vermont. There is a growing interest at the local level um, for municipalities to be taking up this issue of single-use plastics. Rattleboro became the first in the state to stop allowing single-use plastic shopping bags. Burlington has a bag ban advisory on its town meeting day ballot. And then there's the possibility of a statewide ban. The two bills in the Vermont legislature would not only ban plastic bags like this, they'd also ban styrofoam and plastic straws. Now, whether or not single-use plastics are restricted, Sally Smith says she wouldn't mind a statewide bag ban. Any reduction in the amount of plastic makes a whole lot of sense. And if Burlington does vote to ban single-use plastics, it's not like plastic bags will be banned overnight here. In fact, there might be other sorts of questions further on. This particular bag question, well, it's just an advisory run. It's kind of like taking the temperature for citizens here to say, would they be interested in something like a plastic bag ban sometime in the future? We're live in Burlington tonight. Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.